Who's knocking? Come on in. Here we are on Barbara Dolls Tour Bus. Uh, we have recently changed buses since the last time you saw us at Vans Warped Tour. So I'm gonna give you a little uh, sneakeroo around the premises. So uh, this bus is owned by Bad Cats Productions. Uh, Josh, the owner, bought it and uh, put it together with this uh, beautiful array of uh, plywood. <laughs> and uh, but we, this is our home. This is our home on wheels, and um, we've uh, you know kind of collaborated together to make this thing run and to get us to the next shows. So uh, for the next couple of tours, we'll be using this baby, and as Jello Biafra calls it, the log cabin on wheels. Thanks, Jello. So sweet of you. He came in here and almost broke our uh, bathroom door, which you'll see in a moment. But we fixed it. <laughs> So uh, this is the first part of the bus. We've got uh, this beautiful uh, couch over here, which Josh made from his uh, couches that he had in his lounge room at home, his parents' lounge room. He stole one of the couches and made this baby bench. And then uh, this is uh, where uh, all the logistics happen, tour managing and everything. A computer to, for that obvious uh, explanation. And uh, you know when the tour when the bus is running and we eat and we cook and so forth we all just kind of collaborate here together on uh, uh, suggestions on how good or bad the food is and uh, as you can tell these don't have handles yet but we keep our supplies up here our tortillas and teas and then over here we'll keep our CDs and merchandise some of it but then we have bays on the bottom of the bus too for all the larger stuff. Uh, shoe and water bottle uh, <laughs> place. And uh, over here we have this beautiful coat rack which uh, Josh decided to put very high so that we can't actually use half of the coat hangers. That happens people, it happens, it's rock and roll. Um, over here is our little kitchenette which we've uh, fastened together all the stuff to not move with uh, bungee cords. That's how it happens. Uh, our little hot plate. Uh, some more spices and food. We actually do cook because I don't really like to eat out, especially on tour. So uh, we'll eat like, you know, make rice and like pasta and potatoes and all the good things that come with uh, third world uh, country <laughs> uh, over here is the bathroom nice slidey door and um, open up that little baby uh, as you can tell we use the uh, vacuum cleaner from the 1800s as our toilet paper rack <laughs> whatever it's called <laughs> uh, we have a fridge he might have stolen this too from his uh, parents house I'm not quite sure where he got this fridge from um, we do have a microwave which I don't think anyone uses but we do store whatever food we make so it doesn't go bumping around while the bus is moving and uh, actually this bus was given to us well, this bus was owned by a friend of ours out in uh, Arizona and he actually told us about it and so he told Josh about it who then eventually inevitably like flew out from Chicago and he saw the bus he's like this thing's cool and he like you know, scrapped all the stuff that was in it and then rebuilt the whole thing so um, you know taking the DIY method to a whole new level Bet you don't have one of these tour buses on your website. Okay, moving along. This is Bunk Alley. We took uh, old sheets and made curtains for these alleys. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's got plenty of space. So we keep merch and all our personal belongings on the top. And then all the other bunks are taken by the rest of us. And uh, this is my bunk down here. I like the floor. It's, it's warmer that way next to the engine and uh, this is the back this is where I work on clothes um, this is my little area to uh, sew my uh, merch together because I make all the merch and um, this is also the warmest place on the bus because we're right uh, where the engine is so um, we'll see how that works in the summertime 
so I do make all the merch this is one of the little the items I'm working on it's still all just like um, pinned together uh, for sewing you know but uh, the idea is there and then you know that's the back so this is like all the specific one-of-a-kind uh, merch things that I make and it's gonna look badass once it's done so that concludes our um, little thing on the bus and um, go check out Barbara Dolls because as you can tell this is real rock and roll baby and you can find us on all the social things out there social medias so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you now go find someone else to annoy